Here we are in the MATLAB command window. Be sure to click inside this box, the command window, until you get the cursor that blinks here, which means that you're ready to type. Let's go ahead and type 750 and hit enter. Immediately, we see two things. Firstly, an output, answer equals 750, and it's abbreviated to ANTS. Also in our workspace, MATLAB automatically created the variable ANTS 750, which correlates to this output statement. If we don't assign a name to a value that we type in the command window, MATLAB will automatically assign that value a name called ANTS, and it creates a workspace variable. We can type ANTS, hit enter, and we'll see that it's 750 because ANTS stores a value of 750, and we're essentially just asking MATLAB to give us the value of ANTS. Let's try just typing 400 and hitting enter. Now we get the output ANTS equals 400, and our workspace variable ANSWER is now 400 instead of 750. The commands here are getting kind of long. An easy way to clear the command window is to type CLC and hit enter. And that clears out the command window. We can also clear the workspace variables by using clear all. If we hit enter, you'll see the workspace variable answer is now cleared. And if we ask MATLAB for ants, Nothing happens because no value has been stored to ANTS. Let's try some simple arithmetic. 4 plus 2. Hit enter and we get 6. 8 times 16. 128. 12 divided by 4. 3. In this notion, the command window can basically serve as a simple calculator, and it follows order of operations. If we did 12 plus 2 times 100, we'll get 212, because 2 times 100 will give us 200, and then it will add 12. You can also use parentheses, 1 plus 2 divided by 3. And we'll get 1, because the 1 plus 2 is executed first to get 3, and we divide three by three to get one. Always, MATLAB is storing these in the workspace variable ANTS because we haven't assigned them names yet. And we'll do that in a video that we'll have separately on variables. One final thing I wanna show you, we can use that variable ANTS. Let's first clear the command window. And we know that ANTS is one right now. If we say, ANTS plus 400, hit enter, we'll get 401. MATLAB has the ANTS variable previously was 1. So this essentially became 1 plus 400, which gave us 401. If we now do ANTS divided by 20, we're saying take answer, which is 401, and divide it by 20. If we run this, we'll get a little over 20, 20.05, 20 and this ANTS is now updated as 20.05. Once again, to clear the command window, use CLC, and to clear the workspace variable ANTS, you can use clear all. I highly encourage you to play around with this. Half of programming is going to be what you do. I can only teach you the first half, but doing is the best way to learn any programming language. Please take the time now, go into your command window, play around using basic mathematics. There's even functions like pi that you can use. Pi times three. You can do exponents. Three carat two to get nine. Don't be afraid of making any errors. Let's say you type something wrong, like three carat carat two. It'll give you an error and point out where you went wrong because I used an extra caret in here. There's no problem with getting errors. In fact, they're a great way to then learn how to solve them. Have fun with it, and this concludes the video on the command window.